Welcome back to Shit They Don't Tell Welcome You. Welcome back to Shit They Don't I'm Tell Nikki You. Limo. I'm Nikki Limo. <laughs> and this is Steve Green. And today, uh, I thought that was a little fun little change It was silly because you're not <laughs> Nikki Limo. So today, yeah, we're doing uh, Am I the Asshole, where we just, we judge people. Yes. And today, we're going to judge the hell out of this, this next person who says, Am I the Asshole for deciding to go no contact with my pregnant sister and my mom who enables her? Ooh. I, 21 female. I'm the middle child in my family. I have a brother. I kind of like immediately don't want to. I I kind of immediately want to label her the asshole. Okay. Because we'll see if that's right. the middle child. It's just, yeah. Yeah, true. Like those middle children are just, they're a whole different breed. They are. They're strange. I have a brother who's a year younger than me and we have a great relationship. Since me and my brother are over a year apart, we don't have much in common with my older sister, 28 female. So she's 21. Since we're seven to eight years apart, I'll call her Karen in this post. Karen is technically, ooh, interesting name. Karen is technically my half sibling, but I never thought of her that way. All throughout my childhood, she was a bully to me. Ooh. She never had fights with our brother because he was shy, but I hated how she would boss us around and talk back, so I guess she didn't like me. My mom and sister have a complicated but close relationship. My mom always stuck up for my sister and always punished me for as long as I can remember. Whenever Karen would cause drama with me, our brother would stick up for me and would tell our mom, but she'd she'd always forgive and forget, and Karen would get away scot free. If my dad was home, he would stick up for me. But that pushed Karen over the edge. So after she graduated high school, she went no contact with him. Oh. Me and Karen always had a rocky relationship since I was in elementary school. Some things that would happen are like when I didn't want to eat a food item for dinner when I didn't like it, and Karen would force me to keep sitting at the table and yelled at me until I ate it all, and I would sob the whole time. She's throwing glass candles at me. What? She's giving me bruises. She scratched my arm. She drew blood. She would, I mean, honestly, this is kind of sibling stuff, but This is totally yeah. sibling stuff. I agree. Um, she would she would lock me out of our shared room when I was in elementary school. This is literally just like having a brother yeah, or sister. Ex- yeah. All these things would happen when she would be passive aggressive and I would talk back. Once Karen was in college and even now she threatens our mother with going non- no contact. This this term is I know uh, you know what I mean yeah it, it's yeah. very Gen Z it's so Gen okay we'll, we'll power through once our wedding going no contact they're toxic you have to go non no contact you have to go I'm no considering contact. go non contact yeah <laughs> once her wedding came around she became super nice only because she needed a bridesmaid <laughs> I then realized that Karen would only be nice because she needed something I really tried to build a relationship with her over the years but it never worked since every attempt ended with a fight at the end. Oh, OP's a girl. I was thinking it was a boy brother. OP is 21 female. Okay, got it. Yeah. You started doing bits about middle kids immediately. That's why. Yeah, I know. Because you're a middle kid. So I, (laughs) but you act like an older kid. Yeah, I'm the older kid. Yeah, because you're like the oldest of the brothers. But I was trying to. Nate's the oldest. I was trying to. Yeah, Nate's the middle kid. Now to recent times, which has brought me to my decision Mm. to go no contact. (laughs) Karen has become very hostile. Like it's like a button. It's that so amazing. I'm going no contact. I am considering going no contact. I'm I think it's time to go no contact. And making the decision. She found out she was pregnant a few months ago and I was happy for her. Karen emailed baby shower invites and I was helping our mom RSVP online and pressed the link for the registry, but it didn't work. I asked Karen for help and she called us illiterate and stupid since her friends couldn't access the link. Apparently we just didn't have the app. I told Karen off of it because words like that upset our mother. Since a previous supervisor harassed her over those words, since English isn't our mother's first language. Oh, that's after rude. accessing the registry, I said I was poor since I just graduated. And Karen said, "Funny how my name, Karen, is able to afford a nice trip to herself," which pissed me off since me and my friends worked hard. Oh, funny how my name. So she's saying yeah. like yeah. you uh, yeah, I got were it. able to get a nice like, trip. Funny for how yourself. Sarah got to go for yeah, a nice you were trip. able to night for a trip. Which pissed me off since me and my friends worked hard during college breaks to plan a trip. So I told her off, saying I'm not upset to be poor. The average person leaves college thousand dollars in debt. I left with a fifth of my debt you have since you went to a private college to follow a relationship that didn't work. Damn, so she hit back hard. Uh, then a week after radio silence, tea. Karen then wanted me to help with games for the baby shower for with her sister in law. But sister in law already ordered games by herself a day after Karen asked me, and Karen texted her mom to say I did nothing when I never got sister-in-law's number to collaborate. So our mother berated me with calls and texts even when I explained the situation. God, this mm. is such petty, stupid, yeah, so petty. stupid shit. Little tiny, pa- like, family dramas. 
It's so small, though. I know. The last straw is everything that happened between my mother and Karen over my social media posts. I got an offer to participate in a photo shoot in swimwear with a photographer. Oh, my gosh. The photographer posted the photos, <laughs> and I posted to my social media, and our my sister texted our mother, you really skipped a day with me for your daughter to take photos like that. I didn't even know what to say. I asked our mom, and she said she forgot to tell me Karen was in the area and texted her. I ended up having to take down the photos because of the text she was sending, and I had to apologize to the photographer. What? Karen had an issue with the photos because she's very conservative and goes to church and looks down on others who aren't, quote, godly like her. Who cares? And puts down people in personal ways, so her text caused me a lot of anxiety. I Ugh. felt so shamed and hid my social media stories from her so I could still credit the photographer. First of all... Okay, you're a lot. Well, First of all, you're a lot. Finish the, okay, yeah, as yeah. A, yeah. This is the last part. And I have a Today, lot. I know. Say. That's why I wanted to. And yeah. I knew you'd like this one. Today, I posted again and wanted to share some photos from my shoot in a different outfit. Soon enough, Karen texted her mother, nice daughter you are raising, and other things. My mother then berated me again for posting the photos, even though they are not risque or nude. I decided I shouldn't be scared of what I'm posting on my social media and blocked my sister on everything and told my mother I'm moving out and going no contact. I also texted in a group chat with sister-in-law and Karen saying I can't go to the baby shower then blocked my sister I feel like I may be the asshole because of Karen's pregnancy but am I the asshole for going no in contact with my mother and sister I mean yeah uh, I think you should learn how to communicate um, but this is the thing is that yeah like I, I think that no contact is a very good thing to do if you are being abused yeah if you're being abused and you're you're in a dangerous situation if you're um around toxic people all the time that are like inhibiting you from doing things that you need to do in your life then yeah but um this this kind of petty shit is just like you just need to learn some first of all you need to accept responsibility for your own emotions yeah. like you, her text made me have anxiety and it made me okay listen you have anxiety issues fine but you can't be like oh the world is you're gonna go knock out with the whole the, world dude. the world is um needs to cater to me <laughs> and I am like a, I am a special person yeah snowflake child yeah, yeah. Uh, no like no like you can't block out the world brother and maybe i'm being very harsh and impatient but i think that um hopefully someone tells op that she's just maturation i think you just need to you can't like learn to develop this stuff if you just shut the world off and be like i'm going no contact with the world i've decided it's, i've i've gone with a decision to go no contact with the world so dramatic it's like now, you you still want the attention, right? Uh, basically, of yeah. people to come back to you and be like, "We're sorry, we're so sorry, we we're wrong." That's exactly like, it. We, and and like put it's the door slam, like kid gloves. It's and going on. upstairs and closing the door, but you yeah. hope that they come and exactly. Get you. Yeah, and so that's what you really want, and really like, you just want to like resolve things with your family members and because you feel like you can't you're just like hmm, I, then i don't want to talk to anyone you know yeah. and stompy footing around and uh i just think it's a communication issue to be honest by the way on this show in the past we've told people yeah maybe i wouldn't talk to that person anymore yeah we're not like against it it's just that this is it's such a new term that has been like it's being overused right now i think and it's like people are using it for every little thing for communication issues yeah, yeah, like exactly. just Learn to listen to what they say, then have a response, yeah. use some I statements, tell the, express your uh, feelings. And like, yeah, I don't think that you should let your sister's opinion of what you're wearing influence what you're going to put on your social media. For sure. Set that boundary. Okay. Say like, yeah, uh, I'm going to post what I want cool but she but, was already feeling weird about posting this stuff you can tell yeah and then the sister like said something and then she's like devastated about it so then she removes everything right but it's, like you don't have to remove everything and you can also it's you true. also don't have to go no contact you say hey uh here's my boundary i'm gonna post what i want if you have opinions about it keep it to yourself i hate to bring this up too but sometimes you're just young and you're like this i agree and that's why i said it's a, a maturation thing more yeah. than a like asshole thing i think it's a maturation thing i think are you i'm saying it right you said it wrong you're fucking with me no i said it right you said it you're wrong. you're fucking with me yes you're the asshole 
Steve Green. Yeah, fair. You dick. <laughs> Big fucking dick. You are. Nice. Not oh, your dick. Damn. Your dick is small. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's what I deserve. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. I think that this is just one of those things where nobody's really the asshole. It's like, you're just a sibling with someone. And yeah. Like, <laughs> they have opinions of you and yeah, you're like, and you're, mm, I hate their opinions. Yeah. It's just, dude, she used to lock me in a room. Are you kidding me, dude? That's every single <laughs> every sibling Every single sibling ever what are you that ever about? existed. Ugh. All right. Yeah. I mean, I, I obvious. Okay. There's unprocessed trauma. Go to a yes. therapist. But this is the problem right now with, I think, just like people growing up normally, right? Quote unquote. Yes. And then watching and then a bunch of TikToks. They, about... Yeah. Watch a bunch of TikToks and then they get in their friend circle with a bunch of overly sensitive people. And yeah. then they all share stories about like, yeah, they locked me in my room one time. And then it's like, oh my God, that's so devastating. You're personal, blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, oh my God, dude. Yeah. This is just normal shit. And yeah. you just. You don't have real trauma, mm -hmm. but you need to invent some so that you fit in with other overly sensitive people. Yeah. Well, they could have trauma, but it I'm just, sure. it's just not. It's not what they're describing. No, it's just that like, <laughs> that's not the answer. Like processing your trauma and like actually dealing with it in a healthy way is the answer. Correct. But like shutting the world off and being like, hmm, they're the asshole, right? Yeah. It's like. I can't no, be around well, problematic people like this. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, I don't know. I think that you're just, yeah. I think that they just need uh, a little therapy. Yeah. Okay. What are your thoughts on this one? Am I the asshole for getting married three weeks before my cousin? <laughs> I always think these things are so silly. I love this shit. I guess. It's okay. such a weird untold rule thing. Yeah. It wasn't part of my upbringing. Same. Like, like wedding culture. Zero. Like wedding culture. Yeah, exactly. Zero like wedding percent. culture was just not around. So I like this shit baffles me. I went to like two weddings before ours. It was like my uncle's wedding and like another person. I went when I was a kid. My our wedding was my first adult wedding that I, as an adult that I attended. Yeah, I was not aware of all this drama. Okay, Emma the asshole. Yeah, getting married three weeks before my cousin. I thirty two female. My cousin thirty three female. I've been very close over our entire lives. We both got engaged around the same time, ish, and both got married in two thousand and twenty one. Her husband proposed December twenty nineteen, and mine proposed November twenty twenty. She set her date before me and decided on the beginning of October in California. I decided to get married in Arizona on a lake where the temperatures get extremely hot during the summer. I'm talking 110, 120 degrees hot. Due to this, I was pretty limited on dates where the weather was permitting. They actually do not do weddings at my venue during the June to August area because of the heat. Since she was getting married in October, obviously that month was off limits. So my options were either September or November. Since my wedding was a, quote, destination, I wanted the weather to still be warm enough where my guests could go on the lake. Therefore, September was my only option. They had one date available on a Saturday in the middle of the month, so I took it. We ended up getting married three weeks apart. It's been a few years, and I thought everything was fine. Well, my cousin has recently told me that she was upset by the fact that I chose to get married before her and within such close proximity. Should I have chosen a different venue, waited into the following year, or chosen a different date? gives an absolute I didn't shit. choose the date on oh purpose to try to beat her to the altar. <laughs> I just wanted to get married while it was still good enough weather so that my guests could enjoy the lake. So am I the asshole? No. No. Uh, no. Yeah, no. I, no. I, no. I, I, there's no way no, no, ever no. that I could agree with the other side. I'm Absolutely sorry. Absolutely not. Who gives an absolute shit? It's three not. Three weeks? Who gives a fuck? You could go around the world many times in three weeks. <laughs> I don't know about that. Of course you can. I I'm mean, not you about could. A Why would you, a boat. would you want to? If you're in a plane, you go around the world how many times in three weeks? Are you kidding me? Maybe the cousin refueled? felt like because they share a lot of the same family that that OP is getting all the good presents. <laughs> and like, you know, because everyone's going to be because they, they spent all their monies already. Do you really think that? I don't know. I'm trying to justify. I'm trying to look at the other side and not be like a total bias jerk. But like, I'm trying to think of any possible reason why I might be upset for my cousin getting married three weeks before me. And if it was like my mom could only make it to one wedding and she chose my cousins, then right. I guess like that would be something. Right. But I'd be more mad at my mom, I guess. I don't know. I can't really... I can't really like justify the other side. Okay, so check this out. So some people are saying, I suspect you're the asshole. You said you got engaged at the same time-ish, but then 
It was a year later. Yeah, you got engaged a full year later. Yeah. I think you're spinning more of your story than that, actually, and it was a little sus. Yeah, it wasn't the same time at all, but I can understand because it was the pandemic, so it felt like the same time. So 2020 and 2021 kind of just feel like the same year. Yeah. Because we were all just, like, not able to do anything. So There's something very dumb about this whole thing. Where it's so like, dumb. Like, you stole her thunder... Like that, that's her moment to shine. It's her day. I guess. All this kind of shit. I don't get why three weeks later it's not her day. That's still. what I'm saying. I guess it's the whole thing. Like like you said, same family contacts. Yeah. So now everyone's stressed to like go to two weddings in three Such weeks. A, yeah, exactly. That's the only that's thing the I can only think thing of. I, yeah. Because if like I'm thinking me as a wedding guest, if I had to go to two weddings and see all the same people like within three weeks, it's like I would still do it. It's a chore. But I don't know. I, I don't think that like... I don't think that that's a reason for the second bride to be upset. I don't. How know. about this? I think you're an asshole if you have a destination wedding. Why did she plan her wedding? Well, it was the pandemic. I was gonna say like for two years later, but yeah. Yeah, probably. What were you saying? I think you're an asshole if you have a destination wedding. I straight up do. Oh, I, I do too. I straight up think that. Uh, okay, wait. I take it back. Why? It, you're not an asshole if you have a destination wedding. You're an asshole if you have a destination wedding and get mad at people for not coming. Oh, that's a fact. That's the only thing. That, that's a stone cold hardcore I don't think fact. I mean, I think destination weddings are kind of dickish. They're like we had people. We had people just drive to Santa Barbara because we lived in LA. Right. That's easy mode. Yeah, that's like ninety minutes away. Yeah. Um, but I think like when people do this Tahiti shit or you do the whole Hawaii thing, mm -hmm. good for you by the way. All well, they do it to you. filter. Anyway. Okay. See, I'm into that. Yeah. If that's what it's about, they do it to filter. Okay, I like that. Everyone I've ever known that's chosen like. A destination. Like, they want to exnay some people. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Okay, I like it. I didn't know about the petty side of it, and I like it. Yeah, <laughs> you would. <laughs> yeah, I did yeah. That. You converted me quickly. Yeah. I'm, so now they're not assholes. I'm very pleased. Yeah, I just don't. You know. Yeah, the only assholes if they expect everyone to make it. Agreed. That's that's cool. true. Yeah. Yeah, because we went to a wedding in Maryland, and I I was it was great. I had never complained once, so yeah. that's true. All right, I like that. Okay, check this out. Okay, I'm checking it out. Am I the asshole for charging one sister for my service while the other sister got it for free? Yeah, kind of. Oh, yeah, for <laughs> sure, right? <laughs> Let's hear it. Okay. Um, I am the youngest of three half-sisters. My dad had M.I.A. Mia, I guess is her name, with mm -hmm. his ex-girlfriend. He married Kate's 30 female mom and divorced when Kate was a year old. He is married to my mom now. I grew up with both Mia and Kate. But I don't think they spend a lot of time together. Their moms just had different schedules. When I was 19, Mia got married. It was a small wedding, under 40 people. I had just started my baking business. And I was honored to have my wedding cake at her wedding. Aww, yeah. I went all out. Got a lot of compliments. It was a great piece of advertising for me. I told Mia my cake was my wedding gift to her. Last month, Kate got engaged. She recently approached me and asked me to do her wedding cake as well. Around 100 guests with several allergies to watch for, including eggs and flour. I'm still baking as a side business. I have a day job and only do pre-order cakes and cookies now. It's doing extremely well, but I love my day job, so I don't bake full time. I sent Kate an invoice with a deep family discount. She lost it on me, mm. saying I baked Mia's wedding for free, so why didn't she get charged? I told her because Mia's cake was smaller with no restrictions. Hers has to be more than double the number of Mia's guests. And I had to find ways around all the food restrictions. Her design was also much more fancy. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, this is a tough one. Yeah. Kate still says it's not fair. One sister has to pay for her cake while the other didn't. She also made a point that Mia and her now husband are both engineers and make good money, while she and her fiance don't make as much yet. I chose to gift Mia a free cake while charging them. I know I will not be in financial ruin or anything if I decide to make cake her cake for free i just think it's a ridiculous amount of money i have to spend on her wedding gift if i insist i get paid am i the asshole Ah, uh, that's a really tough one that's tough right i mean i wonder if there's a way to to i mean it's a deep family discount but like how deep like maybe out of principle i i don't know how i don't really oh, know man this is really hard it, it, you know maybe just don't invite the people with the food allergies well, or tell them not to eat some cake. Right. Hey, go eat something I think else. That go have a cookie. The sister is an asshole. Um, the one getting married for just expecting it, it to, it. yeah, assuming it that. to be free with uh, and like having it be very fancy. Like, okay, you don't make as much money and blah blah blah. All these excuses. Okay, so don't ask for a really extravagant cake. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know. It just sounds very, again, entitled that like, uh, and assumed. It's entitled. Uh, uh, yeah. I agree. Plus, you're you're actually taking away the joy of gift giving. Exactly. Like, she didn't get to even have the idea to give you the gift. You just assume she's giving it to you, and then you gave her the design and shit. Yeah. With a list. Yeah. I think you're a little it was like entitled. A demand. Missy. It was a demand. Missy. Like instead of this, the OP being honored to have the cake yep. there, it's like now this. It's like, hey, so when you do my cake, like, can you make sure yeah. that like, mm-hmm. yeah, Missy, I don't think so. That's wild. That's wild to me. Yeah. You're an asshole. Yep. I think but the sister's that. OP's not an asshole. OP's not an asshole. Yeah. OP's just trying to get by. It's tough because like, no matter what, her sister's going to think she's an asshole. Dude, like a hundred guests? You got to make a cake for a hundred people? <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. Holy shit, dude. Like to just expect that, like okay, when the sister's wedding planning, she's like, ooh, cakes? Ooh, this fancy cake is like $5,000. You know what? I can get, I'll get my free. I can get it for free. I can get, get it for, for free. free. Yeah. It's just rude. Yeah. It's like it's a lot of cake, bro. Yeah. And you just like expected it. And then you got to move the cake too. It's a pain in the ass. If she really was having a trouble of like financing her wedding, she should have talked to the OP and been like, hey, is this is kind of a favor? Do you, is, are you cool with this? Yeah, blah, yeah, blah, yeah. blah. Yeah. Sounds like none of that conversation happened. Exactly. Yeah. It's such a dick move. Also, um, I like the context of that. Her, her business wasn't even started yet when the first sister was getting married and now it's like a thriving business this is what she does for a living yeah and now different ask and and you want like the biggest job of what she does for a living totally for free and it's still just her gig she doesn't have a bunch of employees and shit right yeah yeah Not, no you're you're awesome actually you're a yeah. nice person yeah i would i think the sister's the asshole keep it up keep it up keep on keeping on and with that said, we will be right back after these spe special messages. Yeah. Oh, plus. Be sure to check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash sticky, S-T-I-K-K-I. Steve says that crypto is pumping right now. It's, we're wrecking it's the like game, a bull baby. Market and, and it's really cool. And he does Crypto Corner once a week and it's Every a stream. Every Tuesday night, seven, uh, 6 p.m. He's doing extra ones too for helping out people. Yes, new, new people. corner yeah. recently. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, check us out. Crypto Corner is awesome. Um, a lot of people have been crushing it with that. You get this episode, you get these episodes of the podcast before anyone else, like a day or two early. Yes. And we have a free roll poker tournament every month and an awesome Discord community. Yeah, the best. The so best check of all it time. out. The go. And uh, we'll see you in a second. Okay, bye. Hey, thanks for listening to our podcast. We just want to take a break to tell you to like, thanks for listening to our podcast. And if you want to rate it, that would be really awesome for us. Like, Listen, we're on break. We're not talking to you like podcast hosts right now. We're just talking to you like people. As a friend. And we just want to say, please rate the show because it helps out huge amounts. Like, we're not desperate. We're like kind of desperate. We're giving shout outs right now to all the people who are giving it ratings. So, huge shout out right now to Brian Jorgensen. That was sick of you, dude. Thank you. God bless. Uh, huge shout out right now to Mark, Mark W. in Springfield, Connecticut. Back to our podcast. Jenny Blake. Hey, back to our podcast. In Tuscany, and Florida. back to our podcast. God bless you. Thank you. Steven. Huge. Thank you for supporting the show. <laughs> and we're back. And we're back. Okay, Nikki, am I the asshole for worrying if my son gets bullied because of his name? Ooh. For not worrying. For not for worrying? For not worrying. Am I the asshole my... for not worrying? Okay. My fiance and I are expecting our first child that have been discussed and we have been discussing potential names. Mm -hmm. Both of us immigrated from Eastern Europe. I'm from Poland. He's from a place called Kazakhstan. Okay. And he, we both want our children to have names that reflect their heritage. We decided on the name Wojcik. <laughs> I think I nailed it. Okay. Because yeah. it was my great grandfather's name and my fiance is a huge soccer fan. We're in a group for expecting parents, something like a mommy and me group, but you can join before your kid's born. I didn't find a good translation. And at the last meeting, the topic of baby names came up. I explained the name we had chosen, and while most of the others said they liked it, some were apparently concerned about the pronunciation, and one of them asked if, it, if we were completely set on the name. When I told her yes, she asked if we aren't worried our son might get bullied for it because it's not a common name here. I told her we aren't because the pronunciation is not as difficult as it looks, as he would probably go by Woach Tech, <laughs> anyway, she doubled down again and asked if we had discussed any other options. I told her that we did. We also thought about Permalizev and Mikolaj. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it in a friendly way because she was pissing me off. And I forgot how my fiance told me I should have just left it alone and ignored her comments. 
By the way, we don't live in the United States. We live in Germany. Oh, okay. Well, that's different. I know Kazakhstan is not really Eastern Europe. I didn't mean to offend anyone. I guess they've offended Reddit because they said Kazakhstan is Eastern Europe. Right. Oh, okay. A, they, Got it. They wanted to addend. Well, Germans have hard as fuck names to pronounce anyway. Uh, yeah, so, like, I don't know. I kind of am into the war of, like, <laughs> fighting them. <laughs> so you pronounce my name then. I'm glad I don't speak German. Of all the languages, that one... They need to add some more every, vowels in there. Every time I hear it, I'm like, how do they learn this language? Yeah, it's a lot of... It's very impressive. A lot of spittle. A, little, a lot of spittle going on in those conversations. Yeah. Apparently, it's pronounced phonetically Wojciech. Like Wojciech? Like Wojciech. W-O-Y-C-H-E-K. Look, I don't live there, so obviously, I'm just not used to the name. If I was dating someone new, and they were like... What's your boyfriend's name? And I was like, Wojciech. <laughs> It'd be pretty funny. <laughs> Dude, I feel like if I was German and you just said Wojciech, I'd be like, oh yeah. Yeah, but so because yeah. Because I don't know because anything. Because I'm a United, dumb I'm American. American brains. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, Germany, that sounds like yeah. they would like that name. Yeah. I'm like, didn't we invade there? Don't they speak English? Oh, they don't? Oh, well then I don't know. Don't they have Worcestershire sauce somewhere yes, around there? Do. Like in the in the freaking UK? Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. Sounds the same. Yeah. That's the same. Like, if you couldn't accept Worcestershire sauce, then you couldn't accept Wojak. And how could you get bullied if everyone loves Worcestershire sauce? The Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce, Shire sauce, sauce as my mom Shire. says. Yeah. Worcestershire. If you put that, by the way, if you do that with ketchup, that makes A1. I know. Did you know that? I, I did, Damn. yes. Did I teach you that? No. Okay. All right, check this out. Am I the asshole for telling? So we agree that like that was just weird and like... Uh, yeah, I don't think anyone's an asshole. I'm not I, qualified to answer that because you live yeah. in Germany. No, exactly. Like, it sounds like normal for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> we right. don't know. They think you guys we are good. We don't know. They think you're good. Yeah. We give you the thumbs we, up. If you came over here, yeah, for, for sure he's getting bullied. For oh, yeah. sure. Oh, in uh, my house especially. You should definitely be worried. Yeah. But, like, in Germany, I feel like it nah, should be, be fine. finesies. You'd be totally finesies and don't even worry about it. Don't they have names like financial Hansel advice. or... <laughs> like they have That's like, also financial They advice. have really stupid names you can make fun of them for. Yeah, the dumbest names ever. Hansel. Yeah, huh? come on. And, um, uh, what other ones? Adolf. Yeah, that's yeah. stupid as Super fuck. Super common. Super common too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Am I the asshole for telling my fiance's stepmother that my fiance did not want her engagement ring <gasps> after she continuously pressured me to propose with it? Oh, oh! <laughs> trying to make a family heirloom. Oh God! I love this shit. Okay, I male twenty five proposed to my girlfriend of ten years last month. We had discussed getting engaged. Ten years? Why did it take so long? Took Jesus forever, Christ. bro. Jesus. Uh, we discussed getting engaged before. We wanted to look. Uh, we wanted that to look like, and wanted what the fuck, dude? Learn how they to they discussed write. what they wanted it to look like. Yeah. One thing my fiance Kaylee was upfront about was she would love to have her mom's engagement ring. Her oh, she'd love to have it. Yeah, her maternal grandparents had it since her mom was terminally ill. She had wanted it saved for Kaylee, and Kaylee loved the idea of having her mom's ring because it was something her mom designed. Oh, okay. She never said I had to, but I knew how much it meant to her. She was also clear that she did not want her dad's wife, aka stepmother Ruth's ring. Mm. Kaylee does not like Ruth. She does not view her as a stepmother or real parent to her. Oh, she tolerates the her. There's the yeah. thread. Stop forcing yourself God. as a parent on a stepchild. So annoying. Okay. She tolerates her because she does not want to lose her dad, but she said she would rather get engaged without a ring than have the one from Ruth. I always knew she didn't think much of the woman, so it came as no surprise to me. And I always knew I would turn it down if offered, even before Kaylee said anything, because her feelings on that were clear. Mm -hmm. So here's the issue. I got the ring back in November, started planning the proposal, Around the end of November, Ruth was questioning if I had plans to propose. She could sniff it out. Ooh, She's smelling it in the air. Yeah. She asked me directly when I saw her one day, and I said, Kaylee and I had talked about it. She mentioned giving me her ring, and I told her, thank you, but it wouldn't be necessary. And what followed was a solid six weeks of this woman trying to make me take the ring what so the I could fuck? propose. She never even got confirmation that I was proposing, but she was adamant. Oh my gosh. I started shopping in different stores to avoid her entirely. This is psychotic behavior. I thought proposing would be the end to Ruth's campaign. Yeah. But she confronted me after the <gasps> engagement and asked me why I rejected her ring and used the other one. No. I told her Kaylee dreamed of using her mom's ring. I was then scolded for referring to Kaylee's mom as her mom. What? Ruth told me she had been mon mothering Kaylee since she was six. These step parents need to back the fuck off. And she has been there for her every step of her life. And 
she would have wanted her ring more. She told me I was selfish for denying Kaylee that. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> you think I had that call? Oh, Ooh. wow. I told her Kaylee didn't want her ring, and she comes no surprise that Kaylee wanted her mom's ring when her mom had been gone for a long time. Ruth then starts on a rant about how she's my future mother-in-law and the future grandmother of our kids, and I should be grateful how I, Trying to assert I should be careful her. how I speak to her. She's asserting herself. Because her kids do not deserve to grow up around such tension. Ooh, my kids are not going to see you, lady. I, I love she creates all the tension, and she's like, you shouldn't be tense to me. Yeah, it's always those people. They project all the shit they do. Mother-in-law vibes. For sure. Like classic mother in law. Wicked vibes. stepmother yeah, yeah, vibes. Yeah, that, that's what I meant. Yeah. She stormed off and complained to Kaylee's dad. He and Kaylee talked about it. Kaylee apologized for Ruth being O T T. What the fuck, Reddit? What what does that mean? Uh oh over the over the oh, not over the line. I don't know. They always O-T-T? do this shit. Yeah, I don't know. What are you doing? Yeah, we don't know your Nobody coding. Nobody knows your stupid fucking codes. Just say Just like say the fucking thing. Yeah. You're typing a lot already. Yeah. How bad is your Guam? You can't even fucking add a little bit. <laughs> Agreed. Your Guam, by the way, is words a minute, right? Your general words a minute okay, or generic calm words down, a minute. fucking nerd. Well, I'm just saying, just in case people are like, what's Guam? Well, now, you're, you're, now you're doing it, though, because I didn't know okay. what that, but you could have just, you said a lot of words there. All right, just saying. Ugh. All right, everyone, calm down. Kaylee apologized for Ruth being OTT, whatever that is, and told me I did the right thing. But some of Kaylee's paternal family believe I was wrong, and that I'm helping keep the gap between Kaylee and Ruth when in an ideal world, I would encourage Kaylee to be more accepting of Ruth by treating Ruth with more respect and acting as though she's my mother-in-law. It doesn't help that Ruth is still saying I was rude. What the fuck, bro? Just say, nah. hi, look at me. She said she doesn't want your ring. Yeah, your job now as her spouse is like, stick up for you're her. protecting her. You're protecting you her. You don't have loyalty to this, to the other Anybody. side. Anybody. No. You have her back and only her this, back. Your fucking wife to be says she doesn't want a relationship with this woman. This shit. You where respect he, that first. This shit where he says, if it was, a, yeah, in an ideal world, I would encourage no. her to be more accepting. Cut, no. 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 Cut that attitude. That is not your job. You are you are a writer for your chick and 100%. your chick only. Yep. You and as a sidecar, if you're if her family is doing things that are in your chick's direction of wants, then you ride with them. Yep. Always. Yep. And that's that's what I do. But if ever anybody it has to be in alignment. Right. And if ever anybody tried to step on my wife and make me say something against her will, I will destroy them out of orbit. I will nuke them from fucking space. Sorry. Deal with it. Yeah, deal with that. I've done it many times. Careful. Not with you, though, thankfully. What? I haven't had to, like, you know, what? beat up on any of your family members or anything. Oh, no, Everyone's my family's cool. awesome. Right. But I had an ex where her family was stepping on her, and yeah. I used to just have to, I'd go in there like a Steven Seagal bar fight every yeah. time. But I had my, you always ride. You ride for your person. You gotta. You have to do it. Yeah, that's so the person important. you chose. They're that's your it. family now. That's it. So, yeah. Uh, I think that this kid has... You know, it's a, it's a new situation, but you you have to change your mental um, attitude about your spouse is now your family. That's your That's family. So you no don't excuses. owe anyone else anything. So I think he's a little scared and uh, and like a, maybe feels like he's in trouble, you know, yeah. and wants to be a good guy. And Clearly. is like, ideally, like I would have said this, uh-uh. but she, nope, nope. And you don't even say that to them. No, definitely not. Ugh. No, you make it very clear whose side you're it's on. It's okay because you're learning, so I forgive you. Yes, but, we forgive. But now you have to take you're this not an asshole. forward. You're not an asshole yet. Yeah. You're you're a good man so far, good but man. you need to implement the writer energy. Writer energy. Chick, yes. To chick only. Mm-hmm. So important. It's very important. I can't understand. P- people, please listen to me on this. I know. Oh, I know. Oh, Steve, it's cultural. My mom and dad and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, dude, you just got to ride for your person. Yeah. That's it. Okay, you just have to write for your person. Yes, it's going to put tension on things because they're putting tension on things, mm-hmm. right? They're putting tension on things. You have to ride for your person. But those are their wishes, right? So, if someone doesn't want a relationship with someone in their family. They, yeah. you do not put pressure on them to have that relationship. Correct. So there. Yeah, you're welcome. It's just so it's so infuriating. Yeah. Um, but you know, hey, that's the good thing is we can learn about things like this, right? Mm-hmm. It's not like you have to just know already. I didn't know this yeah. already, but you know, growing up, I don't know what really taught me this, honestly. It's kind of like, just like you do it and then you're like, oh, that feels right. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think so. Here comes a little trivial one. Oh, shit. I think you're going to like. Okay. Am I the asshole for being upset when my husband questioned me about wanting to wash my hair? 
Warning, very trivial. Okay. I, 32-year-old female, have been married to my husband for 10 years. We have a four-year-old, two and a half-year-old, and a one and a half-year-old. I'm sure it's really relevant. Okay. Well, I mean, it, yeah, I'm sure it it's does. really important that we know that. No, it is actually. I know. That's why I said that. <laughs> you we, sounded sarcastic. No, I'm not. We have my nephew's first birthday this afternoon, and I wanted to wash my hair fresh beforehand. I took the kids out this morning to give my husband a break. He ended up tidying the yard and putting a load of wash in. Mm-hmm. But I never. It must be a Brit or something saying sure. that. Yeah. But I never asked or expected this. I, specific, I specifically said multiple times to take the time to play on his phone or whatever. Mm-hmm. This afternoon, I told him I was going to shower and wash my hair before wrapping the presents. He asked why I didn't wash it last night. I said, firstly, I like to leave it as long as possible between washes. So I washed my hair two to three times per week. And secondly, I showered with all three kids last night, which means I held the littlest one in my arms for most of it. So not really compatible with hair washing. Mm-hmm. He seemed annoyed at the prospect of having to watch the kids for the first time that day, which would have been a maximum of 30 minutes. Wow, that's actually a low amount yeah. of time because bitches take forever to wash and their hair. And then you got to blow dry it. 30 minutes is a speedy yeah. wife. Um, hey, you need to time and chill out because you take really long showers. Oh, yeah. I take freaking an hour in the shower you take forever. to blow dry my hair. I don't have hair. No, you don't blow dry your hair in the shower. You get electrocuted. <laughs> Stupid ass. She says she could. She needs a maximum of thirty minutes, all in, including yeah. getting herself dressed and ready yeah, for the party. Yeah, that's wild. This bitch is that's fucking crazy. Holy shit! She's that's, like she's a mutant. A, yeah, this guy better fucking kiss her he feet. Better, he better. You be kissing, better. His, kissing his lucky stars. Yeah, kissing. I guess. Yeah, you should be kissing every single lucky or star. Or his feet, or her feet. Okay, I was upset by his reaction and just generally his questioning of when and how frequently I wash my hair. I told him how I felt and compared it to if I were to question how frequently he poos, which for the record is three times a day. Full shit. No, seriously? Bullshit. I've heard about like, no, it's not that they poo that much. Is that he doesn't want to watch the kids. Yeah, so he fucks off in the yeah. bathroom with the phone. Like, I know I, about yeah, this. I 100%. have friends. I know about this. Jeff. <laughs> just saying. I have a brother-in-law and I'm, I called him Jeff as a nickname, but you know. Yeah, we don't know his real name. I'm not going to say his real name. He still failed to understand why I was upset and thinks I should have washed it last night. I think I should be allowed to wash my hair this afternoon, given it makes absolutely no difference except he has to wash the kids and he just doesn't want to. That's so ridiculous. I can't even... This is... this The fact that she actually thinks her husband's pooing three times a day. She just says that straight. Yeah. She's like, well, he happens to go to the bathroom three times a day. Now he has to cover it and be like, oh shit, yeah. yeah. I have to poo right now while you're trying to wash your hair. Dude. Bro, like, what is wrong with these men? I mean, it's not like all men, obviously, right. but like, there's a bes- like, really, I want to play there's a specific phone. breed of of men that just like don't ever want to do fatherhood things. It's so weird. Yep. It's so weird to me. It's only because I've seen it like quite a few times in the recent mm-hmm. history. Because like now our peers and family members, friends and stuff are like yeah. having kids. Yeah. And there's like there's a lot of fucking off. There's going like on. more than half of like I'd say like at least half of the fathers that are just like they just they don't fuck off. A hundred percent fuck off. Yeah, fuck off mode. And and then the wife is like so frustrated, and then they don't get why their marriage is like not go, going very well, and then like shit is then they blame it on the kids, and it's so weird. It's so weird to me. What blows my mind is the dudes that you're talking about, and then they expect to be doted upon by their chick. Yeah, when they like watch the kid for like 15 minutes yeah 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 yeah. and like when they come to the door they expect to be doted upon Ooh, and like oh it's the same kind of guys that that'll phrase it like oh i gotta babysit the kids today it's like it's it's your own kid it's your kid it's not babysitting it's you're the dad yeah you're the father dude (laughs) this blows my fucking mind it's amazing amazing. and like half of the culture accepts it it is like yeah (laughs) <laughs> yeah, it's what a great the yeah good on the dad. guy side yeah, yeah on the guy on side. the guy side yeah. what a good dad yeah 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 <laughs> I know the chicks are like yeah welcome to, yeah you showed up also wait maybe he could have like given all the kids a bath the night before so she could have washed her hair the night before but so also amazing. it's not his business what her her hair schedule is like she's trying to plan it most efficiently and thirty minutes is insane that's it's, like so fast she's, she's a great woman. Yeah. She's a quick woman. She should be given medals. She should be. Three yeah. kids? She should be honored in some way. Oh my God. I've never known a chick who could get ready in 30 minutes. This guy probably Full ready? This from... guy probably needs birthday decorations oh, for definitely. his birthday. Yeah. He probably makes his birthday a really big deal. He's a Leo boy for sure. 
or the one our friend is whatever from that the previous one is. episode yeah yeah i won't say but he likes it's halloween scorpio. decorations <laughs> it's a scorpio or it doesn't feel like his birthday so yeah. amazing all right well i think that's the last one yeah. um wait who is the asshole in There's this the dad the guy. yeah the dad for sure we don't come on bro we're not open for arguments on no, that one that one sorry and don't even leave a comment don't about leave it. comments about that one no it's too you piece of shit come on get over it no that was one-sided oh my god i want to smack that guy so much yeah i've seen that there's so many dudes like that right what's now. the fastest you think you could get ready if i was like oh my god if not, I was like, not we, 30 we're, minutes if i was like you get a trophy if you if you get ready a trophy yeah if i give what's you a it trophy. look like it is it plastic like the, it, it looks like uh one of the vegas is it hotels. nice yeah it's nice it looks like it looks like the Red Rock Casino. Well, so you have to put criteria on it because you know I'll just not shower or wash my hair at all. Yeah, no, that's part of it. Is okay. The, the whole point of the trophy is you oh, win if yeah, you get ready quickly. A, but I have to do all the things. Yeah, you have to all do all it. the things that you do. Put makeup when you on and all, thing, all shower, the things. Shower, makeup, get ready, and then clothed well. Ooh, uh, I could do it in thirty, but I would be stressed. And yeah. like as fuck, like it would be because of the trophy and <laughs> no other reason. Like there's no other purpose in the world that I would ever be able to get ready that fast. I know. Uh, but if there's a trophy involved, I probably can make it happen. What if I was like, we're we're leaving for a wedding. It's for some reason like for our wedding. No, 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 a wedding. But it's, a wedding, and it's like the most important wedding that in ever? our lives right now. Why wouldn't I plan my? I am a planner. I don't know, but like you have I to would take a plan shower my right schedule. now. Oh, Joe peed on you. Our cat peed on you. Okay. Yeah. Direct shot. Okay. I would have to I'd do a hairstyle that maybe the hair could be wet in. Oh, wow. Like a bun, you know? Yeah. I'd do an updo. And then that way I don't have to do blow drying because that mm-hmm. part takes... That's just... I can't get around. That part would take 15, 20 minutes right there. Got it. So like it'd have to be like an updo. And we're just still fine as for a wedding. It's like mm-hmm. very nice still. And uh, I could do the makeup pretty quickly and I could do it in the car. Yeah, you do it in the car. <laughs> so you think you could do so, it in 40 minutes? Uh, yeah, I could do it in 40 minutes for sure. Okay. But if I had the, if I didn't have to blow dry my hair, I could do it in 30. Okay. My makeup, 10 minute routine. Got a 10 minute routine. Yeah, down. I agree. But um, the in hair. In the car, does it take 10 minutes? It takes a little longer because I got to compensate for the bumps. Yeah, a lot of bumps. And, yeah. and if I'm driving while doing it, then I have to like <laughs> right, compensate for the looking we at the road on. part. <laughs> <laughs> And that's all the time we got for today, folks. We hope you guys are having a good day. Yeah. Hope you're having a really chill day. Leave us a comment. Um, let us know if you disagreed with any of our assessments of who is and isn't the asshole. Also, check out our Discord. You get these episodes a couple days early. You also get access to Crypto Corner, where Steve goes thoroughly into all of the crypto questions you would ever need in your entire life. Oh, yeah, baby. Uh, we do free roll cash poker tournaments, like where the, you don't pay anything extra. You just get free. There's... If you win, you get if you cash, win, yeah, you pay cash prizes. You, you could pay off your Patreon like so fast; it's hilarious. Yeah, and then <laughs> uh, um, there's an awesome Discord community. So check it out. We'll leave a link in the description. It helps out the show the most. Um, also, share with your friends, and we will see you next week. And if you're a chick, leave how how long how long it takes you to get ready. How long could you do it? Yeah, at at max if you, speed. But you have to do all the things though. All the That's things. the part of it. Yep. Like you have to shave like shaving armpits and mm-hmm. and legs i mean um full ready the mode. feminist mo- movement might get uh, might be like you don't have to shave your body <laughs> hair it's so. part of our it's but part like, of our contest if, in my normal routine i do yeah. shave my body hair yeah. yeah and i think i could i could do everything in 30 minutes if i didn't have to blow dry my hair got it all right yeah. might get a little patchy on the legs <laughs> a little, a little, a little bit of cut some some patches Snips. of hair and yeah. stuff you might be severely bleeding wherever we're going yeah i yep. might not shave my anal hair as much shut as- the fuck up we're done <laughs> bye bye, bye.